Let's get right to the interview. Joining me now is former White House Chief Strategist Steve Bannon. Bannon, you broke some big news this week. Tell us about it. What'd you find out? China Biden's. Well, listen, it was about the uh, it was about Hunter Biden, this trove of information that's uh, come to uh, us at the war room, Rudy Giuliani over show at WABC, but it's up on the New York Post in an exclusive. And it talks about the f extensive financial relationships that the Biden family has and Joe Biden has with uh, with foreign governments and companies controlled by by foreign companies. There's a lot more that's going to come out throughout the week. Right now, it's, it's talking about how he lied. Joe Biden's lied to the American people. He's consistently said he didn't know anything about Burisma, he didn't know anything about uh, executives in the Ukraine, and it's just a lie. There, there's emails that show that Joe Biden took meetings, right? He took meetings with these guys <clears throat> set up by his son and set up by his son's business partners. So, you know, Joe Biden, has, he's lied to the American people consistently. He lied to the Washington Post, New York Times, MSNBC, uh, Mike Allen over at Axios, consistently lied, and now he's being outed for his lies. So I think he's first off has got to just come back. And I think the media has got to take the lead here to hold him accountable for these substantial lies he's done, number one. Number two, I think we've got a national security problem. National security problem is Biden and his family are compromised. You know, everybody's wanted to look the other way on this, and now you have to focus on this with three weeks left to go. Is, is Joe Biden compromised uh, by foreign governments and entities, companies owned by foreign governments, the last? And what's most shocking about all this, Eric, is that the FBI has had this information since the fall of 2019. I think since December, they've had the information. If they had come forward, President Trump wouldn't have been impeached. I think this recalls an immediate investigation of the FBI. You've got to get the FBI in front of, hey, how did you have this information and not come forward with it? Did the Bidens get a special deal and President Trump and the people around President Trump don't? So I think on three levels, uh, Biden lying, uh, number two, the national security issue of Biden family being compromised, and number three, the FBI is, literally looks like protecting Biden and his family. So I think that these this, are, I think this thing's gonna blow up the next couple and, of days. And again, Steve, help help me out here. I mean, there are some really, really um, disturbing images of Hunter Biden that, that the Post had published, one of them with a crack pipe. I, are, are we sure these are, are legit emails? Because if they are, you're right, there could be quite a bit of compromise going on between the, the, the Biden family and the American people and, and, and the, the, the Ukrainians. Photograph. The New York Post and the lawyers went through all this. The photograph, look, it's, it's, it's a massive library of photographs, a massive library of videos, a massive library of audio, and massive audio a library of texts and emails. It's a treasure trove of inf information. On family networks, I can't talk about how, how exactly awful all these videos are, but let's say there's substantial uh, drug use and substantial sexual depravity is what I would say it. So it's... Uh, all of that will come out over time, but uh, this shows you. Uh, and by the way, you know, I'm sure foreign governments have this stuff. You know, the Biden, the Hunter, and Hunter's not just the sole problem. The problem goes all the way to the top. It goes to Biden's brother James, and it goes to Joe Biden himself. So the Bi Joe Biden's got to answer this. You can't put it off on Hunter. He's clearly a drug addict. There's substantial. The New York Post has a story of him with a crack pipe. Has a, has a photograph of him with a crack pipe. There's a lot more than that. But this goes back up to Joe Biden. Joe Biden has been able to, to slough this off and not be held accountable by the mainstream media. Now they got yep. the evidence there and he's going to have to deal with it. Steve, I, I, I want to I want to bring you back as this uh, this story unfolds, because it's going to be an important story going into the election. Very quickly, Steve, 2016, you were there you, at this point in time, a couple weeks before the election. They had Hillary. The polls had Hillary winning. Tell us the similarities and differences between 2016 and what you're seeing in 2020. Well, I think it's it's very different. 2020, because of uh, the CCP virus, COVID-19, uh, I, I think it's very different. Uh, I, I would tell people, number one, don't get uh, don't get worried about all these polls. The national polls are showing 12, 14 points down. We were the same way after uh, Billy Bush weekend. I would focus, uh, for your audience, the, the key thing here is low propensity voters. This is going to be won in battleground states by voter turnout. This is not a persuasion uh, and I've said this from the beginning, this is not a persuasion uh, election. This is a turnout election. That's why I think chasing uh, suburban moms has been a waste of time. And I've been adamant about that. What you should do is you've got uh, Hispanics, Latinos, working class black males. You've got a deep base, I think, out there of people that have had have benefited from President Trump's economic program. I would be all over that. I would be going after low propensity voters. A great article in Politico today that said this is going to come down to low propensity voters 
in these eight to 10 battleground states. Mm -hmm. And right now, I think the Trump campaign and the ground game with Bill Stepien, Jason Miller, I think they're focused on what is absolutely correct and needs to be done. Look, I'm not a big fan right now of the rallies. Right. Right? This, the rallies worked in 16, they were brilliant. Right now, I think President Trump's gotta be leveraging digital. He's gotta be now in a focus of get out the vote. Because what's gonna happen is Trump's gonna have a massive turnout on election right. day, and the Democrats are gonna have this mail-in vote. We're gonna have a huge fight, Eric, for the coming weeks after this campaign. You know, that, that, Steve, that, you're, you're, you're right. That is going to be a big thing. We're going to have to keep our eye on it. Steve, I ran out of time, but I really want to bring you back soon. Uh, next week, we have President Trump himself for an hour, but the week after, that'll be the week before the election. Love to maybe sit down and see what else you, you find out. Everyone, Steve Bannon, thank you very much yeah, for your I time. I love the show. Come on anytime. Thank you, Steve.